In this video, I want to show you how to solve some core cool problems under linear motion. So the question here is a car traveling at 20 meter per second is brought to rest with a constant deceleration of 10 meter per second squared. What is the distance traveled? So now this somehow is kind of complicated to some students. Oh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it simple in this video. The first thing you need to do is to bring out the parameter that will help you to know the particular formula you should use for this problem. And keep in mind, if a car is traveling at 20 meter per second and brought to rest at a particular uh, deceleration, we are ref we are talking about linear motion, All right? So from the given parameters. We have that the initial velocity, remember a car traveling at 20 meter, that is the initial velocity, 20 meter per second. Meter per second is unit for velocity and it's brought to rest with a constant deceleration, which is A equals 10 meter per second squared. That's for deceleration. That is the opposite of acceleration. You can as well call it retardation. All right. So the next thing we need to look into is the distance traveled. Remember, the final velocity at this point will be equals zero. And then the distance is what we are looking for, particularly. And then you can have a formula that connects these things together. Remember the first equation of uniform motion is v equal to u plus at and if you want to use this particular formula you notice that u is there v is also there a is there but t is not given so you don't want to consider this particular formula we still have v squared equal to u squared plus 2 as you could see that v is Capture there, U is captured there, and also A is, is there, S is what you're looking for. This could be a good uh, formula to use for this particular problem. We still have S equal to UT plus half AT squared. For us to have time in this particular case, we don't want to consider this particular formula. So this is the best. You could be able to see how I was able to choose the best formula for this problem. So if we plug the parameters given into this particular equation, then we have that u v is zero. Even if it's square zero, it's still going to be zero. And then u we have that to be 20 squared. Now this particular point, it has to be negative because we are talking about deceleration not acceleration. This is the reason for which we change this positive sign to negative because the deceleration is carrying a negative sign which will influence that eventually. So we have 2 multiplied by 10 which is negative 10 and this will multiply by s which is the distance traveled we are looking for. So at this point if we isolate this man over here remember that 20 square will give you 400 so you put in 400 which will change to negative and then we have here to be minus 20 s so if you don't understand what happened here remember zero squared is zero equal to this 20 squared is 400 minus 2 times 10 is 20 then second oh sorry that is the distance so if you pull this 400 across, if it crosses the sign of equality, it becomes negative 400 equal to negative of 20 second. That's exactly what we have in here. So this sign will cancel out. You're looking for S, so divide both sides by 20. And if you divide both sides by 20, 20 will cancel out with 20. So therefore, you have your distance S to be equals. If this cancel out with this, we'll be left with 40 divided by 2, and that will give us 20. What is the unit for this distance that is in meters? So the answer becomes 20 meters.
that's all from me to you in this video i hope you found this video helpful please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that when i upload new video you get notification and please make sure to like this video and share drop a nice comment if you have any question you want to ask or you want to suggest about this youtube channel i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye